Well, that was a horrible, horrible attempt if you watched the last video. And welcome back, everybody, to the Binding of Isaac Weekends. Well, let's head back into challenge. I feel like a good thing to do would be to no one normal run and then one challenge run for the weekends. So what did we did last last time? Large Marge? Yeah, nine deaths. I know it's guppy. Uh, let's do seven years bad luck. Because we all know how lucky I can be with this game. <laughs> oh god. Okay, we just got some jumpers. Got a champion one. Let's get him in my sights. I'm not entirely sure what seven years bad luck is. I believe there is one challenge that's like no item rooms. I have no idea if it's this one or not. Okay, we activated boss already. That's a sacrificial room. I would, but I don't have the hearts for it. And it's the item room, it's not this one. But I believe one of the challenges you can't unlock is like no item rooms. Telepill! Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, of course, it'll put me right in the freaking boss room, I wouldn't it? The monster's not that bad. Especially his, uh, Monster 2 version of him. You can actually just, you know, uh, what's it called? Just lock him into a specific pattern where he just shoots his laser constantly. Okay. Monster's truth has been unlocked. The bean has appeared in the basement. And we get more dog food. Out of room! Out of room, where are you? I kinda got lost. So what else I've been doing this weekend? I've decided to get uh, into Arc Age. It's actually kinda fun. I decided to become a cap person, and actually uh, got a mount out of it. I believe all the uh, races give you a mount, but you actually have to raise this one. It's adorable. What's this? Best friends till the end. What does that do? Space? Oh, that's a distraction thing. You create a little dummy. You created a dummy! So yeah, I've been playing Arc Age. It's pretty fucking fun. I believe people were, uh moaning about the queue times on it. It had like one of the worst uh, launches. Like you could not get into that game whatsoever because the queue times would be like six freaking hours long. I actually just started like freaking five days ago and the longest I ever wait was uh, ten minutes. So I'm guessing they finally bought some new servers. Now normally, I'm not very big on the MMO thing. Like I played... I'll admit to this. I played Maple Story back in the day, but I quit like after what, after a while ago. Last time I played the game was probably like six years ago. After that, I haven't been much into MMOs, but I'm liking this one so far. It's pretty nice. Okay, that's the boss. I believe uh, there's like a multitude of different classes you can choose from. You can actually be whatever you want to be, whenever the hell you feel like it. Like right now, I have like three uh, jobs or things I'm proficient at, which actually makes a combination. I believe I'm a magician slash archer slash uh, what's the next one? Necromancer, I think. And I get Stormcaller. Very cool. Like, there's a bunch of different combinations you could try out for skill sets. It's pretty cool. And I'm enjoying it! Really nice game. But the 
question is, will I be playing it for long? That is yet to be seen. Because I have a bad track record when it comes to MMOs in general. Like, literally, I'll play for a month and just stop. Oh no! Ugh, bad room! Ugh. Especially by the way they put the fires in here. <laughs> room in here. Oh, that bad luck thing. So is there like no item room besides like the one in the first floor? Uh, that's not good. Not good indeed. So this is the one where it's like, oh, yeah, stuff. You don't get your stuff. In other words, if you want actually good items, you gotta complete the rooms without freaking dying. Or getting hit. Actually, this would be a good time to put that version of me down. Ah, you blew up! You son of a bitch! You blew up! I do not have the damage for this. Like, he's not hard, it's just annoying to fight him because of how many flies he makes. I can just get a bomb in there. I mean, I mean. Damn it! <laughs> Why do you move? After this, I think I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't find a secret room. I have the bomb for it, might as well. Might be worthwhile. Okay. Try to save five. That one was getting a little too aggravated. And we got the Jesus juice. And I have an idea where the secret room might be. Though I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna check anyways. It's in like two places that I can think of. Actually three. Is it here? Yes it is. More money! And now we have enough for the shop, so that's good. It is a good thing. It is a good thing indeed. I get this key. Bumper key seems like a good seems like a good deal. And we get the map. Sweet. Should I get the pill? Ah, uh, sure. Oh, mm. <laughs> uh, we got the dirt face. We ate the pills. <laughs> poor Isaac. Poor, poor Isaac. Well, 
Ladder room, back. Inner magic league on. See? Perfect. Oh no. <laughs> These linear rooms are gonna be the death of me. Got a bomb, let's go ahead and take it. Oh wait, that's a bookstore in there. <laughs> I thought it was a shop. Look at it. We got Anarchist Cookbook and Telepathy for Dummies. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the Anarchist Cookbook. Anarchist. Because Anarchy shall reign! Oh wait, freaking uh... Secret room, it's on the map. Ah, oh, that almost hit me. Okay, he's gonna split into two spiders. There we go. And... Oh, you dodge under it. Another penny! Let's go up here... And play the bomb. Money! We can almost use a shop again! That's just mean. <laughs> I love it when these two do this for me. Okay, they're right in the center. Don't screw this up. <laughs> I hate three heads. Ugh. I hate green heads. I hate them so much. And we got fistulas. I think that's what they're called. I feel like I should be going through that chest. Versus Gertie Jr. Go ahead and use this. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I just barely have enough speed to get away from him. <laughs> okay. Oh, sweet, we got a double room. Hopefully it ain't Krampus. I found bills, and I ate them! Mm. Dirt. <laughs> the High Priestess, go ahead and keep that. And we got push pins, who I believe are piercing shots. I will be taking the mark. And I will be taking flight. Can I? You unlocked Eve! Yay! Progression! Though Eve isn't really the best character. So now we can fly over pits. And now we got some damage upgrade too. Now we cry bloody tears! Bloody tears of blood! Oh. See, top secret room. <laughs> we got another, uh, library over here. Two shadow books. Actually, I think I'll take it. 
Who knows, you can use the invul invulnerability. Because of Lord of the Pit, we can safely hover. like cheating, but not. <laughs> oh. Pop the book. <laughs> and we got a slot machine. Not really too interested in it. Uh, I have no coordination. That's all my problems with this game. I have like no coordination. Like I see something and I freak out. Ah, uh, nothing useful for me in here. Spirit heart or you know, an upgrade of some kind. Ah, oh, I almost ran into him. Oh, that was frightening. Oh no! Oh look! We got an item room. So I guess every other floor is an item room. That's what it is. Shoot the whoop! What was I saying about firing my laser in the freaking last video? I'm a fire up my laser! Uh, where is this boss room? Come on, you stupid, stupid flies. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm gonna burst these guys down as best I can. Or at least one of them. Uh, 
<laughs> it had to be the fallen. Probably because I took those freaking devil room items. Uh, well, at least we unlocked Eve. That's that's some form of progress, I guess. Getting edgy is not really that hard to unlock. Okay, see you all in the next video and next week for a new installment of the Weekends with Isaac. I had no idea what was going there. Goodbye.